Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Hey, I'm Sarah. Uh, and we're back in Half Life. Yes, we are, and I'm still struggling, but um, we're gonna do good. All right, you ready for the worst chapter in Half Life? Oh no. <laughs> I don't know if this is the worst coming up. Anyway, oh, also, I read about the Zen, uh, the Gargantua in between the break. Oh. What'd you read about him? It is actually possible to kill him with the shit Wait in your minute. backpack. I've been waiting for you. One of your scientist pals said to give you a message. You're supposed to take this old rail system up to some kind of satellite delivery. So we're going to go. I don't know where it is exactly. This guy's flapping his jaw at us, but we're going to take this rail up to a thing. And we're going to shoot a satellite. To me, it really does look like he's just flapping his jaw. Can I just blow through this? Freeman, I've been waiting for you. One of your scientist pals said to give you a message. You're supposed to take this old rail system up to some kind of satellite delivery rocket. I don't uh -oh. know where it is exactly. Was so worried about okay, that's fine. Do you think, do you think Freeman and his off, like, Freeman, Freeman strikes me as a guy who's kind of, like, sober. Because he had, like, a really wild college. Uh, you know, his college days are really wild, 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 so now he's sober now. And uh, so instead of drinking when he's sad, he fills up a little bottle cap with water and takes bottle cap shot. It's a very personal story. I don't know. I just, I relate to freedom, uh, Freeman a lot. I do too. I don't know what it is. I mean, I guess it, it's, he's built to be that way. Yeah, so the Gargantua, um... I don't know what it is. We say, like, seeing a man who is a scientist, an action hero, non-speaking. He's just like me. Ugh. Crap. That's fine. So look yeah, at this. This, this five foot eleven bully man is just like me. Who are you referencing there? Freeman balding. I think no. he's balding, right? No? No. Why do, hair. why do I imagine that? Are you thinking of Caleb from Blood? Yeah, the actual way to do this is by shooting these fucking things. Which is just so American. So yeah, to kill the Gargantua, you need to sh sling a lot of grenades in its direction. Um, but yeah, it and a couple of other monsters are coded to be resistant to bullets, so you cannot kill something like a helicopter with, you know, a handgun. Because just having, uh, you know, things work like that is not really realistic, you know? In the real world, a helicopter does not have health points. And you cannot, like, slowly grind down a helicopter's hit points over the course of, like, minutes by shooting it with a pistol. That's not how it go, you know? So the you, think it's Freeman's, you think it was Freeman's choice to, to make that suit orange? It's Do you probably, think he had a say in that? It's probably required, you know? Like, it's got to be, like, bright green or orange. Because it's, it's a HEV suit, and that means hazardous environment vehicle or something. Um, it could be that, like, it is a, it is a requirement, like, OSHA needs you to make sure that this suit is highly visible. That could just be the case, you know? So the reason that people don't like this level is that you have to run around with this train car. However, as you can see, 
I have actually just abandoned the train car and am not using it. I don't know why you would. Yeah, it's kind of a pain in the ass sometimes. Um, that said, I will have to find it again. And that could be a problem. But on the other hand, fuck it, whatever. So we can see that this bull squid might have been building a nest or something. Because this isn't this guy's foot. And then there's this rib cage and spinal column, among other things. There it is. Do you think Freeman's mind is the best way to experience Half-Life? You know what? It is such a valid way to do so. Because, like, now there are... It's, it's like there's four ways to experience Half-Life, you know? Original Gold Source Half-Life. That's what we're doing. That's what I'm doing. That's really how I first experienced it, you know? Half-Life Source. You know, play it with the physics engine that everyone knows and loves. Nothing wrong with that. No one could fault you for playing Half-Life Source. Some people don't like it as much, but you know what? It's perfectly serviceable. Black Mesa. Jesus. Please stop shooting me. I'm just an American citizen. Uh, Black Mesa. It's the modern way. It's probably, like, it's the least classic, and so you will understand the least about, like, what Half-Life means for everyone if you go in with that as your go-to for Half-Life. Oh, hey. You love to see it. And then Freeman's Mind. Like, Freeman's Mind is, like, so not the normal way to experience Half-Life, and yet, what a good way to do so, you know? Is there two Freeman's Mind? Uh, there's a sequel. Freeman's Mind 2 is for Half-Life 2. No. Alfred, I know what we're doing when I get back. Uh-huh. Well, first we've got to finish Freeman's mind, because I don't know if you know, but... How could we? Hmm? And how could we? But we often don't finish things. It's true. Still, uh, we're still sitting on Twin Peaks. They're taking that off Netflix, apparently. You know, I worry about people watching this, you know, thinking I'm a boring person because I'm having like a little bout of depression. But then I think about the people who would be watching your channel and I'm like, oh, I'm fine. Yeah. That sounds like fun. Uh, did you get to see your own skull pop off? Uh, I might have. Oh yeah, I wanted to mention, um, you can actually see that there's a smaller pair of vestigial uh, limbs on the four legs of these things. And then they all have a third arm in the middle of their chest that's usually just used for eating, I think. What would you do with some vestigial limbs? Probably see if I could get, like, flight going. Alfred, do you know why I thought Freeman was, um, bald? Why? Because in Freeman's mind... They just don't have hair there. Oh, yeah, because it's his brain. And I'm just like, 
No, oh, yeah, he's bald, right? I remember, he looks like Benedict Cumberbatch. A secret. You know, Freeman could do with a tan. <laughs> well, he does literally live and work underground. Oh, yeah. Like, this guy looks like a big nerd. Gordon Freeman? Yeah. Well, it's because he is. Our hero, everyone. <laughs> nerd. They they gave him a stronger jaw in the later games. They did. He kind of has a goatee. He does, yeah. He explicitly is mentioned to have a goatee. How do you feel about goatees, personally? I feel like there's something that I might be able to wear, maybe. I feel like e with a goatee, either you look like, oh god, like L Lord overly Byron. No, like a very handsome, like salsa dancer, or you look like you look like like an uncle who hugs you too long, you know? Christ. You know what I mean? I have a point. Yeah. I'm not saying you don't. Anyway, this is the Satchel Charge. It's a fan favorite because it's great. I love little hidey places in video games. They make me feel safe. There's a very good piece of psychology in Freeman's mind, actually, about... Um, uh, how, how safe he feels in vents. And it's because, like... Attack can only come from one of two locations, behind or in front of you, and I've already killed everything behind me. Yeah. I mean, I feel like when I start playing a horror game, one of the things I do um, is I always look for a safe spot, even though I know that limits the horror experience. But yeah, I just, that's what me in a horror situation would do. It's immersive. And you know, you you remember that that Heidi spot I found in in RE um in RE eight, you know? I don't, but go on. Remember, uh, the big wolf comes out, and I hit, I hide into the house where he can't really reach you. Oh yeah, in the in the little crawl space under the end of the house. Yeah, I remember. Felt so safe and such a coward. It's a good spot. Like it's one of those moments where you're like. Oh, I'm so intelligent. I found a hiding spot. Ooh, now I can wait it out until I get, you know, my, you know, my wits about me. And then it's like, oh, fuck, I'm a coward and girls are watching. Yeah. Um, you've definitely got to at least see the end of Half-Life 1. Before moving on to Freeman's Mind 2. If not the end of Half Life 1 and the end of Freeman's Mind 1. Jesus. I've made my way into space Vietnam, apparently. Specifically, a space version of the American Vietnam War. I assume, like, regular Vietnam is nice this time of year. Actually, it might be sweaty. It is the summer. How you doing, babe? What'd you say, dear? I asked how you were doing. Oh, I am good. I'm a little floaty, but I'm good. You're a little what now? Floaty. Floaty? Floaty. Jeez, like a rip your float? Ah, yes. I, I'm getting into this thing where I'm just trying to get through as much as I can without... Jesus. 
So see, look at this. When you transition the area, three guys just appear out of the darkness, and they weren't completely there before. I really love the way that these guns look when being fired. The way that the muzzle break at the end makes the fire spit into four. That really works for me. Man, I can't wait until you get to Half-Life 2. Like, I think Half-Life 2 honestly might be the best survival horror game to come out in 2004. I, uh, I'm offended. What, the amazing survival horror game that is Half-Life, or Resident Evil 4? Okay, we might... Wait, wait, what did you say? I, I don't know what you said. You said you're offended. I thought right? you, I thought you said Half Life Two is the best survival horror that came out in 2004. Yeah, that's correct. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, disagree. Heavy disagree. Why? Because Resident Evil Four is the best game that came out in 2004. So the best survival horror games. Yes. Resident Evil 4 is not a survival horror game. Is Half-Life 2 a survival horror game? Yeah, it gets survival horror in the Ravenhold chapter, and it's great. There's some survival horror elements of, of RE4. <laughs> yes, but I'm also making you mad. What? Fringe benefit. For God's sake, weren't there only two of you last time? There we go. But yeah, like... Do you, you know the, uh, you remember that really good Half-Life mod, uh, I think it's Alcamilla Hospital that's made in the RE2, or the Half-Life 2 engine? Mm -hmm. That's called, uh, I think it's called Alcamilla Hospital. The reason, uh, that they did so is because of the segment of, Jesus, really? The segment of Half-Life 2 that gets survival horror. And it is for this and many other reasons that I'm like, man, I wish I was playing Half-Life 2. Didn't stop him. Man, that's a problem, huh? <laughs> Are you seeing this, babe? I am seeing that. Like, I think his name's Scott, the guy who does Freeman's Mind. Scott already commented at length of the Wizard of Oz-esque message of surrender. But, like, they didn't even spell his fucking name right. You need to pay these soldiers less. <laughs> yep. Man, this boy's coming fresh out the gulag. No idea how to spell, but many ideas of how to shoot. Come on. Come on. Thank you. I 
can't wait until you play because I can only hope that you won't have this crippling, crippling fucking addiction of saving and loading to get out of a, a fight with slightly better outcomes. I honestly, I don't. Hmm. I mean, I guess we'll just have to see. Yeah. Maybe you can like cut that part of the video and and play it over like a little montage of me saving and loading, or not saving or loading the entire game. Who knows? Who knows? I'll know. I mean, I did on the most recent game I played. I did only say I. Uh, I don't know. I I try not to save too much anymore. Like save and load. That's fair. Save and save and load. Save and load. So, uh, Vortigaunts, right? The alien slave guys? Yes. Um, I am stuck. You're stuck? Yeah, I got stuck there. Do it again. Okay, cool. We'll work this time. Uh, Vortigaunts. In Half-Life 2, they're going to actually, like, refill your armor. Just like how scientists in this game will refill your health. God damn it. What is hurting you? The third rail, dear. The what? The third rail. Does that happen? Yes. So that's a thing. Like in real life? Yeah. You didn't know about this? Well, like, I know you never <sighs> lived... Have you ever lived somewhere with a subway? Never. I guess that makes more sense then. Anyway, yes. I mean, suffice it to say, it is a real like, thing. What's up, dear? I mean... I just kind of thought it was an underground train. Yeah, but how does it move? How trains move? Coal? Steam? I, I feel like... Alright, we're going to have to discuss this after the LP. <laughs> I, I, can't, I can't let the internet know how stupid I am. <laughs> Yeah, of course. Trains still run on steam. God damn it. No, trains run on coal. <laughs> <laughs> they don't do that. Gasoline. Nope, still no. You can't put gasoline underground because the fumes don't have anywhere to go like they do on the surface. Okay, hold on, hold on. How do Oh my goodness. The, there are multiple rails in a train. <laughs> the two rails on the outside are there to guide just as they have been always. The third rail in the middle, the new rail recently added, you know, in the past 200 years, for you crazy, crazy immortals who still think that trains still run on coal. Uh, the third rail is electrical. And it works like a bumper car. Remember that time I told you that I was immortal and you were kind of inclined to believe me? There are explanations for this that don't include immortality. Well, no, no, no. Oh, do, do you remember that one, that one time? I do. That was so sweet of you. But I don't know if it was because I act old, or if it's because, like, wow, she's so wise. Uh, I, I think you could probably figure out which one it is. Alright, I don't remember what 
I'm supposed to do here again. All right, let's look around for a button to hit. You ram it. Ramming things with this card has been a solution in the past. Not this time, I guess. Damn you. I don't know if we should. Okay, why not? Didn't want to die alone anyway. So, is there consequences for shooting every single person you see? Yeah. What are the consequences? Shoot on sight. Oh, I see. Minor details, you know. There's a yeah, maniac scientist running around. He thinks this is a Resident Evil game. I like the vibe of it, though, you know? Just like, oh, things went a little bad? Alright, I'm gonna just start shooting everyone I see. I may not agree with it, but I respect the hustle, you know? Like, what if aliens were real, and then a gun just happened to land in your hands? You'd think about just going nuts and shooting everyone, wouldn't you? Maybe. What? Oh man, nothing like 1990s era FPS puzzles. It's well documented on my channel now that like very small puzzles like this drive me to drink. Con, pause, found them, as a matter of fact. You think if you touch the middle rail of a of a train track nowadays, you think you'll get like electrified, like in those cartoons where like your feet will leave the ground and you and you like you'll be like touching it by your by your single finger and it's like. Yeah, that's what it's based on. Jeez. Like in cartoons, it comes from stuff like that. That must be horrifying to witness. It is a good lesson to teach your kids. There's been a few problems with people peeing on them, of all things, actually. Why? I don't know. Oh, of course, you just hit E. You know, I've always had a fear of kind of like being run over by a train, even though, you know, that's never been a problem for me, and I really think that cartoons made it more of a problem for me than actual reality. <laughs> That's a very good point. Are there any things that you can think of that, like, in childhood you really overestimated how much you'd need to worry about it? Um, falling ironing boards? <laughs> uh, I just had a flashback to one of the best Looney Tunes chases ever. Alternatively, Bowling Tom and Jerry. Bowling balls on a shelf? A what now? Bowling balls on a shelf? <laughs> yeah, the old shelf full of bowling balls gag. Classic, classic. Mine was something like the Bermuda Triangle, you know? Yeah. I was just like, oh my god, it's out there. Yeah. You never know, it could just come and find you one day. Makes you part of the triangle. You know? What if it's like Jew on the Grudge and it just... The ghost just leaves the ghost location. That reminds me, um, for anyone who wants specifically to see uh, an LP of Black Mesa, uh, Wooly Versus has an excellent one with his co-host Reggie Versus. More people need to watch them. Yeah, it kind of blows me away how like they are now like the most unpopular of of the gang, even though they're the most similar to the original channel. Yes. Man, why does Wooly get everything? <laughs> what do you mean? He has so much, so many more followers than Wooly. Dear, I think you said Wooly twice. Did I? Yeah. 
Oh no, I'm losing it. <laughs> I meant Pat. <laughs> 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 Welcome to two best friends. Everyone's woolly. Ah. <laughs> uh. God. Man, fuck that guy, Wooly. You know who really deserves the followers? Wooly. Wooly and his arch nemesis, also Wooly. Please spell with an H. Wooly. <laughs> Wooly. Truly. You know, remember how I spelled Wooly with an H for like years? You did spell Wooly with an H for like years. <laughs> And it's so wild because, like, he's the only person who's named Wooly, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Like, you Google Matt, Pat, Liam, you get, like, thousands of pictures of random guys. But you you Google Wooly, and you get the one that there is. I'm going to do that right now. Here's the guy. Yeah, there he is. The one and only. Pretty much. Jesus. Like, I, I will never be so infamous that people associate the name Sarah with just me, you know? Yeah. In fact, I think Sarah makes me less mem memorable. I need a new name. Let's start a poll. Even worse than what should I name my baby polls, what should I name my wife? <laughs> well, we're getting married in a few months, so what uh what's gonna be the name, you know? Yeah. Oh man, that'd be kinda cool. Where, like you get married and you just get whole new names. I mean I guess that is kinda what we're doing. True. God damn it. So, Sarah, you think you're going to buy a head crab plush before this LP's up? It's headed there. Yeah. It's crabbed there, in fact. hate this fucking level for anyone who has played half-life before that is definitely not a new fresh hot opinion on a rail is thought of as like if not the worst half-life level then the second worst unless you want to get really granular and count all of the different levels of zen as one Impolite, honestly. But yeah, like, lugging this fucking cart around, like, you're stuck on the cart so you can't react to things the way that you would on your feet. You have to get the cart places. Like, it's like an escort quest, but there's no dialogue. Which I guess, like, is pretty nice and makes it better. But like man, you know? I mentioned earlier that one thing common with all Half-Lives is that they usually try to push something, you know? They try to push the limits of something. And, like, I can see why they would want to show off, like, cool new cart tech. But, like, also, what the fuck were they thinking? Man, I'm not going to get over your dead, Freeman, for a couple of days, I'm thinking. How you doing, babe? What'd you say? I said I'm not going to uh, get over your dead, Freeman, for a couple of days.
Is that what that sign said? Yeah, one of them said Surrender Freeman, misspelling his last name, and one said you're dead, but spelled wrong. Maybe that's just the developers. I don't know, I like the idea that... <laughs> Man, I hope my dad's not watching this, but... I like the idea of playing the United States military as barely having, like, basic spelling comprehension. I mean, they pull them just out of high school, so... Yeah. Pass them through. Ah, uh, suddenly I miss Aaron. <laughs> I gotta do an LP with her at some point. I'm down. Probably Crusader Kings. Play Civ with her. Does she like Civ? She loves Civ, yeah. Prior to I like her... how past... What's up? Sorry, go ahead. Prior to her playing Breath of the Wild and... Um, Hades, literally the only games that she would play are 4X games like Crusader Kings or Civilization. Interesting. Yeah. But yeah, that used to be like her basic one and only jam that she would do when playing video games. Just 4X games of all things, you know? Have you ever, like, been doing your LP and... You say something because, you know, these things are very stream of consciousness sometimes. Sometimes nothing. And you later realize that you really have to cut that part out because that is not information the world needs to know. Uh, no. I have too much of a uh, background with customer service to just blurt something out like that. Okay, because I also have a background in customer service, but there's been so many times where I'm, like, about to just talk about some, like, really raw stuff with you, and then I'm like, wait a second, we're LPing. Yeah. We are actually live right business? now. Uh, what, how would you handle that situation, huh? Would you stop me dead in my tracks, or would you let me finish and be like, alright, well, I guess I have to cut that out. <laughs> I would stop you and say, I would probably ask you if this is something you want recorded on the internet. I, I like the idea of you just leaving in uh, the part where you say, well, I guess I have to cut that out. That's a classic thing that I love doing, in fact. Have you done it before? Uh, I actually haven't had the chance to do it now that I think of it. Oh, quick, what can I say that's incriminating? Sarah, no, please. I don't have to put in any more effort than I already have. I wish there was, like, a button that you could press where your recording just has, like, a little, like, like a bookmark in it of, like... Ooh, that's where I goofed. Want to check that later? Uh, there is on some, but for others, you just gotta write down the timestamp. Like, oh, God. like horrible racial slur at nine fifteen. That would never be in one of your LPs. Not like a human racial slur. Things get pretty heated over at Morrowind, though. Yeah, like that time you called Dylan a coomer. <laughs> That's not a slur. <laughs> that was you. <laughs> Don't put fucking words. You call him that. Well, but I gotta cut that out later. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure you do. You know, all the work that you put on these LPs and editing them. <laughs> Alfred, Alfred, just stop right now and look up Coomer definition. <laughs> it actually fits still in. Oh, no. I know it does. Wait, you looked it up? 
Sir, you know this became a slang term all throughout like 2020 and 2021. No. Like, it was in I... common parlance. Is it from Apple? Uh, no, it was just a wacky coincidence that somebody's name was that in Half-Life. Where have I been? College, I guess. Oh, God, I've been living under a rock. You know all the boomer memes? Yes. And how they're like, what if you were a 40-year-old boomer, you know? So variations therein are doomer. You know, people who are like nihilistic and are pretty sure the world's just gonna fuck them over no matter what they do. So who even cares? Mm hmm. Uh. And then really, any permutation of vowel. Or not the vowel, consonants. Just can be turned into 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 that, you know. So you um, can a can a loomer be like all those edgy kids that actually grew up to be weird? I would say loomer would be somebody who like sews. Sews? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's cute. I liked that. This might be a pull, but you should Google femboy doomer. Jeez. I am familiar. What did you say? I said I am familiar. <laughs> Oh, you've seen this. Yes. I haven't used the satchel charge yet. Boy, I can't wait to go up this elevator. I hope nothing bad happens. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, pretty much. Whoops, that's not the right button. What button is this supposed to be? I guess it switches. Anyway, yeah, that's how the satchel charge works. You know, it's like your C4. I can't wait to see what the description of these videos uh, are going to be. Yeah, I bet you can't. Crap. Playing Half-Life with my wife, but she's sad. Part three. Well, that ain't good. Hmm. Is it God in this? No. All right, one moment. All right, hey, I'm back. I forgot about the all-important SV Cheats 1 cheat. There we go. So, uh, what happened there was I turn on cheat codes because I accidentally fucked up uh, the throw that you're supposed to do for the for this thing, and I didn't want to go run around and find uh, more satchel charges, so I just cheated. Ah, oh, fuck. Oops. There we go. Wait, what am I... Okay. Okay, I'm here. 
fine by me. That's Whoops. Sorry, I forgot to turn it off. Okay. We're here now. We're good. We're good. I do got this. You're right, babe. Just like Yuzu all. What's that Metal Gear where there's no guns anymore, it's only swords? Rising. That's what that's what that just reminded me of. You like slaying that guy with your slay. <laughs> <laughs> that that was very Metal Gear Rising of you. Thank you. I I try. You slain the underage high school boy. Too close. Too close. I never know what fucking button I'm supposed to be hitting here. Okay, we're good. Let's make our way down. I am so nervous in this elevator. Why? You know, Half-Life and elevators don't usually go well. What, just That's because I'm on this been. awful, awful rotating cart platform doesn't mean that all elevators are evil? Oh my god, I just felt sick because you rotated one way and the elevator rotated... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if this is your intention, but that is also a Freeman's mind bit. <laughs> no, it was not my intention. Oh, no. Uh, Freeman gets on one of those awful rotating elevators. And is like, alright, I'll, I'll have to try to turn with it to resist the seasickness. Jesus, that was a lot of health. You know, I've had a lot of um, just, I've had a lot of reasons to use my throwing up, um, sound effect, you know? I hate it. One of the most recent ones was I was, you know, I'm just a few hours ago spending 4th of July with my friend's, um, host parents and her host dad was in the Navy and talked about uh, a hazing event where they would oh, choose, no. the, choose the fattest, ugliest, smelliest guy, strip him butt naked, put maraschino cherries in the man's belly button. Oh. And if you, you know, successfully, <laughs> um, you know, y y you know what you have to do. I you hope know I don't. You, you suck them out? Yes. Jesus. Oh, God. And, you know, usually I have pretty good manners around new people. But I, like, I I think I just legit gagged. I don't even think it was a sound effect at that point. I think I was just, like, hurling a little bit in my mouth. You know, in the Navy, you can sell the seven seas, I've been told. I've heard of that, yes. Yeah, just some people from my village. Right. Glad the conversation's over. Yeah, yeah, no, I, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Boy. <laughs> Do you ever see a bit just stop dead? <laughs> he sure... He sure did his job today. Yep, that's a man Boys, I got his, him. earning his kill Freeman paycheck. Do you think they get paid more or less for bringing you back whole? <laughs> That's a good question. I want the whole Freeman. I can't wait until you see the end of this game. 
This game has an ending that made people rip their fucking hair out. Does he get to become a free man? No. Oh. My expectations have not been met and my day is soiled. Jesus Christ. God damn it. Get him, champ. I'm doing my best. I like how you're really, really trying hard and you're doing amazing, and I am just here clowning. Wow, that's impressive. Good job. Thank you. Where did he come from? Where did you come from, sir? He politely waited for you to heal. He did. What was that? What's up with that? I just had the, I just did the dumbest thing. In real life, I just went to put up my shield like I'm playing fucking Dark Souls. Ugh, this is why we need more shields. Yeah. I think Doom Guy should have a shield. I think that would really work for him. Okay, yeah, we wouldn't need to spend so much money on bulletproof vests if we just taught our soldiers how to block. Yeah. All right. <laughs> if our soldiers all knew how to dodge roll. I want you to know this is like, not, maybe not, at, like, I was hoping I would be in a better mood when this time came, but this is exactly what I wanted when I said to you that I was talking to your videos like you could hear me and talk back. Remember I always said you shouldn't talk about that on camera because people might think you're a loon. I know. Anyway, yes, my wife instinctively talks back to my videos as though I can hear her. I miss you so much. It just so happens that she's, you know, in one of them that I can, but... For some reason, I'm trying to think of a Pirates of the Caribbean bit here. I think it's your fault. I blame you. That's okay. Usually those things are my fault. Best start I, I bleeding in videos. You're in one. That's pretty good. Like, I'm glad I waited. Yeah, that makes sense. You can shoot that thing. What thing? The red thing. Behind you? No. No? Well. No. I see. Right, just making sure. I was gonna say, I, th I think the reason I've been doing it is because I, uh, it has now been two months since no, I mean, it's been a while since I've seen you because of this program, so quite missing you at this point. Understood. Still makes you kind of crazy. Little cookie. Little bananas. Can you believe how fucked up a word bananas is? I'm sorry? Like, if you put any other vowel in there, people would be like, bullshit, that's not a word. But, like, because it's A, people are like, oh, yeah, bananas, that makes sense. Try to put Y in there. Do it. Bananas, you know? <laughs> That doesn't make any goddamn sense. How could you? How dare you? You know, you come into my house, say bananas. Bananas. <laughs> Will you call me your little bananas? That's what I want. All right. That's fine.
That's very aggressive. I am no longer an asset. <laughs> what? Like, to this gaming experience, I am just a distraction. Well, one thing I will say... That's not right. Call it a trade. Okay. I'm missing my my good tactical weapon here. Shouldn't have stood up. Why'd I do that? Did I get him? I think I got him. Man, I don't feel like my health has been full since the start of this game. There is no safety. Yeah. So here you can hear some people over talking about you. Oh, you're outside again. I mean, there we go. Much cleaner. Yeah, one thing that I really like about Freeman's mind is that he's always commenting on, like, how he's getting a little up higher and he feels better about that, or he's getting, like, lower, and he's like, mm. Wait, does Freeman talk? In Freeman's mind, dear. Oh. Alright, one, two, three, four. Four, three, two, one. Right, 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 I'm playing a video game. Walking right through, huh? Like you own the place or something. I should own the place. I have a doctorate. <laughs> Again. Just really hard not to constantly always be quoting Freeman's mind. This will kill me, right? Okay, good. Glad we figured that out. God damn these fucking physics, man. Uh huh. Yep. There we go. All right, coming up on a good place to stop the episode. Check this out. Ooh. You know what that is? Whatever. It is. No. Pollen. Oh, pleasant. Pollen under a microscope. I think this is chitin. I think that's a starfish. And this is just a hologram for no reason other than to look cool. And then there's some more blue screens. Alright, big finish, you ready? The USS Sky, fucker. Uh, the gist of the plot at this current point in time is... That's not how rockets work. Uh, the gist of the plot at this point in time is... Man, we gotta stop all of the portals that are opening to the alien dimension at, in some way, like, now. That's a JPEG. Um... 
So we're gonna shoot this satellite up to try to block it. Why a satellite would block it, I don't actually know, but... Can I get this going? But yeah, uh, that's the end of On a Rail. And we're done with, I th I think we're done with the forest Half-Life level. Fucking better Oh, wow. Be. So yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Good stuff. Hey, can I peek up here? I can. Doing a little crawl? Yeah, doing a little sneak. So if you no clip all the way up here, actually, I think I can. No clip. Uh, we oh. can see that we're in the video Kill the Radio Star music video. But also, it's just generic, you know, uh, Nevada or New Mexico at night deal. But yeah, um, we're now done with this episode. What do you say to that, babe? I'm ready for a nap. Me too. I hope to be more energetic next time. Alfred, I enjoyed playing with you. I did too, babe. Now, let me just... There you are. Check out what we got up here. A little sniper nest. Neato, huh? Quick, pause the game and like wait for a couple days. <laughs> oh, thank you, my love, for my validation. <laughs> you know there is no game I love more than that. Thank you, Eater. What a thrill, in fact. And what a thrill it has been. Mm -hmm. uh, I forget where I'm supposed to go from here. I'm just going to reload this and get back to where I was. All right, cool. Uh, yeah, that's the episode, everyone. Thanks for coming by. I've been Alfred. I've been Sarah. Everyone have a good day. Thank you for watching Half-Life. Bye, boy. Bye.